बोलम टुडे वी कम बिफोर द पार्लियामेंट विथ फैमिली कोर्ट्स बिल व्हाट इज द फैमिली कोर्ट्स मेंट फॉर दिस बिल ऑन फैमिली कोर्ट्स इज मेंट टू प्रोवाइड फॉर द एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ फैमिली कोर्ट्स विथ ए व्यू टू प्रमोट कंसिलिएशन इन एंड सिक्योर स्पीडी सेटलमेंट ऑफ डिस्प्यूट्स रिलेटिंग टू मैरिज एंड फैमिली अफेयर्स एंड फॉर मैटर्स कनेक्टेड देयर विथ इट स्पीक्स ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट ऑल मैटर्स कनेक्टेड देयर विथ वेदर इट इज वैलिडिटी ऑफ द मैरिज नालिटी ऑफ द मैरिज रेस्टिट्यूशन और कॉन्जुगल राइट्स और डाइवोर्स ऑल थिंग्स आर पुट टूगेदर जस्ट एज द डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन वॉज गुड enough to bracket these two bills together all the things are put together here per any way i am happy that the special courts has been created to deal with all these matters relating to marriage disputes and other family affairs i wish to state in this connection that in the high courts of calcutta and madras there are cases which have been pending since 1945 cases pending for nearly half a century have not been disposed of their number goes into thousands how are they going to deal with this delicate cases most sensitive matters which concern administration of justice to the weaker sections of the society pair what is the position of women today in spite of all the assurances given to her it may be either the hindu law or it may be the mohammedan law has the women got the capacity to go to the court and entrust the whole thing to the lawyer and incur the expenses involved in this process she is not in a position to do it better under these circumstances the idea of family court is no doubt welcome but there are many difficulties and i do not know how the law minister is going to solve these difficulties the state governments have asked to incur the expenditure they have been asked to defray the expenditure out of their revenue how many states governments will be able to do it and that also in a speedy way the main objective of the bill is to see that the cases are settled as expeditiously as possible that to in an inexpensive way how many of the state governments are in a position to do that per secondly we have to see whether this family court system has an execution wing if there is no execution wing how are they going to deal with cases such as dowry deaths are we thinking of dealing with only civil cases no family courts have to deal with criminal cases also because it comes under chapter 9 of the criminal procedure code today as it is the whole law pertaining to marriage and other family affairs is linked up with section 151 of the civil procedure code and a number of other pieces of statutes for example the special marriage act of 1954 the hindu marriage act of 1955 and the divorce act of 1959 all these have made inroads into the hindu law which though broad based has become narrow all these have been put together it is a short of hodgepodge work so to say so this has got to be regularized channelized and put through the family courts bella 
then what about establishment of case law and precedents what about the civil side what about the criminal side the other question is how expeditiously they will be able to do it in an inexpensive way that is most important thing pal anyway at the outset we do welcome this i will wait and see how these things will be conducted in the proper way i do hope that the law minister will be able to see that the state governments are unable to institute this family courts not only in places where there is more than 1 million population but along with that they should have wing in the high court which should be able to deal with the appeals otherwise the appeals will go to the high court in the normal routine way and they will get bogged down there as the law commission in its 59th report say those things which are meant to be dealt with in a conciliatory way in a human way are being dealt with in an adverse way it is very necessary to see that we do commit mistakes again and that proper justice is being rendered to the weaker section of the society in spite of all the assurance the woman has today been reduced to a short on non entity mr vice chairman i do not like to dwell on this aspect at great length the woman would not possess even a piece of property what is her position today after the judicial separation pal and said the hindu marriage act was being amended the idea came from parliament that after a period of 2 years of judicial separation it should be taken as if it is an automatic divorce stop parachi today we come before the parliament with the family court bill what is the family court meant for this bill on family courts is meant to provide for the establishment of family courts with a view to promote conciliation in and secure speedy settlement of disputes relating to marriage and family affairs and for matters con- connected there with it speaks of almost all matters connected there with whether it is the validity of the marriage nullity of the marriage restitution of conjugal rights or divorce all things are put together just as the deputy chairman was good enough to bracket these two bills together all the things are put together here per anyway i am happy that the special court has been created to deal with all these matters relating to marriage disputes and other family affairs i wish to state in this connection that in the high court of calcutta and madras there are cases which have been pending since 1945 their number goes to thousands how are they going to deal with these delicate cases and most sensitive matters which concern administration of justice to the weaker sections of the society pal what is the position of women today in spite of all the assurances given to her it may be either the hindu law or it may be the mohammedan law has the women got the capacity to go to the court and entrust the whole thing to the lawyer and incur the expenses involved in this process she is not in a position to do it pal under the circumstances the idea a family court is no doubt welcome but there are many difficulties and i do not know how the law minister is going to solve 
this the difficulties the state governments have been asked to incur the expenditure they have been asked to defray the expenditure out of their revenue how many state governments will be able to do it and that also in a speedy way the main main objective of the bill is to see that the cases are settled as expeditiously as possible that to in an expense inexpensive way how many of the state governments are in a position to do that then secondly we have to see whether this family court system has an execution wing if there is a no execution wing how are they going to deal with cases such as dowry debts are we thinking of dealing with only civil cases no family courts have to deal with criminal cases also because it comes under chapter 9 of the criminal procedure code today as it is the old law pertaining to marriage and other family affairs is linked up with section 151 of the civil procedure code and a number of other place pieces of statutes for example the special marriages act of 1954 the hindu marriage act of 1955 and the divorce act of 1959 all these have made inroads into the hindu law which though broad based has become narrow all these have been put together it is a sort of hodgepodge what we should to say so this has got to be regularized channelized channelized and put through the family court superior then what about establishment of cases laws and precedents what about the civil side what about the criminal side the other question is how expeditiously they will be able to do it in an expensive way that is most important to think better anyway at the outset we do welcome this i will wait and see how these things will be conducted in the proper way i do hope that the law minister will be able to see that the state governments are enabled to institute this family courts not only in places where there is more than 1 million population but along with that they should have wing in the high court we should be able to deal with the appeals otherwise the appeals will go to the high court in the normal routine way and they will get bogged down there as the law commission in its 55th report said those things which are meant to be dealt with in a conciliatory way in a human way are being dealt with in an adverse way it is very necessary to see that we do not commit mistakes again and that proper justice is being rendered to the weaker section of the society in spite of all the assurances the oven has today been reduced to a short or non entity mr vice chairman i do not like to dwell on this aspect at great length the woman could not possess even a piece of property what is her position today after the judicial separation and said the hindu marriage act was being amended the idea came from parliament that after a period of 2 years of judicial separation it should be taken as if it is an automatic Divorce. Stop. Today we come before the Parliament with the Family Courts Bill. What is the Family Courts meant for? This bill on Family Courts is meant to provide for the establishment of Family Courts with a view to promote conciliation in and secure speedy settlement of disputes relating to marriage and family affairs and for matters connected therewith. it speaks of almost all matters connected there with whether it is validity of the marriage 
morality of a marriage and institution of conjugal rights or divorce all things are put together just as the deputy chairman was good enough to bracket these two bills together. All the things are put together here better. Anyway, I am happy that the special court has been created to deal with all these matters relating to marriage disputes and other family affairs. I wish to state in this connection that in the high courts of Calcutta and Madras, there are cases which have been pending since 1945. Cases pending for nearly half a century have not been disposed of. Their number goes into thousands. How are they going to deal with these delicate cases and most sensitive matters which concern administration of justice to the weaker sections of the society panel? What is the position of women today? In spite of all the assurances given to her, it may be either the Hindu law or it may be the Mohammedan law. Has the woman got the capacity to go to the court and entrust the whole thing to the lawyer and incur the expenses involved in this process? She is not in a position to do it better. Under these circumstances, the idea Oh, family court is not out well but there are many difficulties and I do not know how the law minister is going to solve these difficulties. The state governments have been asked to incur the expenditure, they have been asked to defray the expenditure out of their revenue. How many state governments will be able to do it and that? Also, in a speedy way, the main objective of the bill is to see that the cases are settled as expeditiously as possible, that to in an expensive way, how many of the state governments are in a position to do that better. Secondly, we have to see whether this family court system has an execution wing. If there is no execution wing, how are they going to deal with cases such as dowry deaths? Are we thinking of dealing with only civil cases? No family courts have to deal with criminal cases also because it comes under Chapter 9 of the Criminal Procedure Court today as it is the whole law pertaining to marriage and other family affairs is linked up with section 151 of the civil procedure code and a number of other pieces of statutes for example the special marriage act of 1954 the hindu marriage act of 1955 and the divorce act of 1959 all these have made inroads into the hindu law which though but best has become narrow. All this have been put together. It is a short of a church word, so to say. So this has got to be regularized, uh, channelized, and put though through the family courts of parallel. Then what about establishment of case laws and precedents? What about the civil side? What about the criminal side? The other question is how expensive they will be able to do it in an expensive Way. That is the most important thing parallel. Anyway, at the outset, we do welcome this. I will wait and see how these things will be conducted in the proper way. I do hope that the law minister will be able to see that the state governments are enabled to institute these family courts not only in places where there is more than one million population, but they, along with that, the, they should have wing in the high court, which should be able to deal with the appeals. Otherwise, the appeals will go to the high court in the normal routine way, and they will get bogged down there. As the law commission in its 59th report said, those things which are meant to be dealt with in a conciliatory way in a human way are being dealt with in an adverse way it is very necessary to see that we do not commit mistakes again and that proper justice is being rendered to the weaker sections of the society in spite of all the assurance the woman has today been reduced to a short on non-entity mr vice chairman i do not like to dwell on this aspect at great length the woman could not possess even a piece of property what is her position today after the judicial separation para and sir the hindu marriage act was being amended the idea came from parliament 
then after a period of two years a judicial separation it should be taken as if it is an automatic divorce